Robert De Niro is best known for being an iconic actor who can pull off pretty much any type of character. Whether it's his roles in mobster movies, the Meet the Parents franchise, or everything in between, you come to love him no matter who he's portraying. At least if you're a fan like I am. But did you know he's also an impressive businessman and real estate enthusiast? Neither did I. Although some of his business ventures are located worldwide, most of his beloved properties, past and present, can be found right in New York. Mr. De Niro has lived in some of the nicest homes around and if you stay tuned, I'll show you. Robert De Niro is an actor, producer, and director who's both American and Italian. However, he was born in New York City, which would explain why he's always lived there. He's well known for his collaborations with the amazing Martin Scorsese, you know, Raging Bull, Goodfellas, and more, working on a total of nine productions together. On the other hand, he's taken on any roles from a psychopath like in Taxi Driver to a ton of comic roles and even heartwarming characters. Robert's won plenty of awards and accolades, including two Academy Awards, the Cecil B. DeMille Award, and even a Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016. On the business side, he's co-founded Tribeca Productions, which is also responsible for the Tribeca Film Festival, and open restaurants like Nobu and Tribeca Grill. Most of these and De Niro's other businesses started off in, no surprise, New York City. City. At the time of this recording, the man reportedly has an estimated net worth of $500 million or more, so despite that high-priced Manhattan real estate, Robert can afford the nicest properties around. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I got some requests for this one, and he's one of my all-time favorite actors, so we're gonna take a look at where Robert De Niro calls home. Most of his homes are in and around New York City, so we'll see some he used to live and ones he still owns. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Colin Farrell and Margot Robbie and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's first look at a place that Mr. De Niro used to call home a long, long time ago. In 2011, this five-story townhouse in the West Village neighborhood of New York City hit the market for a whopping $14 million. Mind you, since the place needed a full reno, it ended up selling for $9.5 million. The listing materials at the time included no photos of the home's interior, so that's probably a good indicator it was outdated. There were some floor plans, though. This was the first time in a long time the house was ever up for sale, and property records revealed Mr. De Niro bought the place almost 36 years prior in October 1975. And get this, he paid only $190,000 for it. And no, I did not forget a zero. Apparently the home was owned by Robert, but occupied by his first wife, Diane Abbott, and the town home overlooks James J. Walker Park. Inside the home measures 4,158 square feet of space and is impressively 22 feet wide with high 12 foot ceilings on the parlor floor. There are five beds and 3.5 baths. The brick built home was likely arranged differently years ago with the main entry on a stoop on the parlor floor. The plans at the time it was for sale showed the main entrance was now on the garden level. On the same level, there was a den, office, and bedroom with private bath, as well as a 32 foot long eating kitchen that opens to a secluded garden. The finished basement level offers a storage and a room that looks like it could be used as a home gym with adjoining sauna and stall shower. The parlor floor of the town home has a stair hall leading to a library, dining room, and larger living room with fireplace overlooking the garden. The the master suite takes up the entire third floor here with a large bedroom, private terrace, and a massive bathroom. There's also an additional room that could be a dressing room. The other bedrooms are located on the top floor and there's also a staircase up to the roof. In 2012, maybe with some money he got from that last NYC townhouse, De Niro and his current wife Grace moved into a luxurious penthouse also in Manhattan's West Village, but reportedly they only lived here until 2015. It spent 11,000 square feet with five beds and 4.5 baths and set the actor back a whopping 25.5 million. I told you, New York living is far from cheap. This penthouse had history dating back to 1920 when the building was once a manufacturing facility for maraschino cherries. These days, the open layout has a two-story foyer and floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking an interior courtyard. There's also a grand living room with fireplace, a master suite with double walk-in closets, and a fancy ensuite bathroom. Other amenities here include a steam room, library, home office, media room, formal dining room, and an amazing outdoor space 
that serves as a private piece of paradise in the busy city. The contemporary penthouse also has landscape terraces outside, views of the Hudson River, as well as the city skyline. Not to mention there's also a private 3,000 square foot garage for at least seven cars, which is unheard of in New York City. Ultimately, De Niro put the place back on the market a few years later for 39.5 million, but it has since been reduced down to about 22 million. So if you're wondering, after looking at those two properties we know Mr. De Niro no longer occupies, he's set to have a primary residence in Gardner, New York. This is a town with a small population of under 6,000 full of farmers, laborers, and second homeowners. He bought the property in 1997, which sits on a sprawling 98 acres of land, inside spanning 2,222 square feet. Although photos are scarce except from the exterior or street view of the land, reports say the house has six beds, seven baths, and 2,000 700 square feet of water frontage on the Hudson River. Mr. De Niro has put the Gardner property through an extensive overhaul since it's been in his possession. He transformed an average barn here into an epic 14,000 square foot recreation center, complete with a boxing room, small film studio, games room, gym, basketball court, swimming pool, steam room, and sauna. Other barns on the property were converted into a workshop and an office, while two guest houses, a tennis court, and even a ski slope can be found nearby. Funnily enough, it's also been said that Robert Robert rarely passes through, only occasionally, or according to local residents, that is. The only way that people know he's there is when a helicopter comes buzzing up the river, landing on his fields. He's also been dubbed the Ghost of Gardener. It could also be because Mr. De Niro and the town were once involved in an expensive three-year battle over property taxes for his mansion, but that's another story. Many also forget that Robert's father, Robert De Niro Sr., was an established artist in New York. He often went to Montauk to get away, a village at the east end of the Long Island Peninsula. That being said, he eventually built a home there, and when he passed away in 1992, the home went to his son. In 1997, Robert wanted permission to proceed with a plan to add more than 4,000 square feet to the existing house, a plan that had been approved by the town several years earlier, but was never built, and eventually no longer conformed to zoning rules. Very little details known about the oceanfront home, except it has an estimated value of $8 million or more, sits on 1.24 acres of beachfront land, and spans 2,278 square feet. It was also built in the 1950s and sits at the top of three terrace levels at the foot of a bluff with a swimming pool on the lowest level closest to the beach. In 2017, Mr. De Niro came forward with plans to completely demolish the home and replace it with a new house of 2,554 square feet with another 846 square feet of deck space. However, they would leave the swimming pool where it is. Finally, he got permission to go ahead with said renovations after convincing local officials the old home his father built way back was beyond repair. So I think I'll bring this house tour to a close here. I know it's kind of disappointing Robert De Niro is so private because I really wish we could see more of his current properties. Like is it just me or do you seriously wonder how he decorates his homes? Like what's his interior design vibe? I know I'm wondering. Anyways from what we could see let me know what you thought about Mr. De Niro's properties or if there were any that I missed. I also recently launched a personal channel so if you want to get to know me better watch my vid and subscribe because I appreciate all the support. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!